right there's my uh, 11 week old Lycan Shepherd Ulu eating a whole raw fish over next to her there's my 11 week old Renaissance Bulldog Ogren doing the same Ogren's two days older than Ulu this is a mukbang video getting their morning meal. Today consists of uh, whole tilapia. Over in the kennel over here is my uh, German Shepherd Lobo eating a whole turkey carcass or what's left of it now. He's been working on it a little bit. I feed my dogs what's called the barf diet, as I mentioned in my other mukbang videos. It's a diet uh, created by veterinarian Dr. Ian Billinghurst. Barf is an acronym for biologically appropriate raw foods. At one time it did stand for bones and uh, raw foods, but was later changed. This is the diet canines are intended to eat. They're biologically designed to process raw meaty bones. It's cooked bones you never want to feed your dogs. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone and makes it indigestible and prone to uh, obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Dogs are able to uh, process raw meaty bones just fine and have been doing it for millions of years of evolution. Fish should be frozen a minimum of seven days to kill any potential parasites in it. The bacteria found on uh, raw foods uh, such as salmonella is not a problem for dogs. 18% of dogs have salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora with stronger digestive juices and a shorter G tract bacteria like that just don't affect them like they do people. It's how in the wild they are able to scavenge and eat rotten uh, animals they come across that uh, we humans could never safely tolerate. I'll put several links in the uh, video description if you want to learn more about the diet. I'll uh, provide links to uh, Dr. Uh, Billinghurst's two books, uh, Give Your Dog a Bone and Grow Your Pups with Bones. And we'll uh, provide a really good uh, online resource if you're looking to do some more research and uh, get started feeding raw. Don't take my word for it, I'm just some guy on YouTube. Do your research. I have. Uh, over 20 years experience feeding this way and have had nothing but success with it. But again, do your research. Feed your dog uh, how you feel comfortable feeding it. I don't claim uh, feeding your dog raw is any kind of panacea, but I have noticed tons of health benefits because of it. You can see even at 11 weeks she's uh, powering through that uh, fully frozen uh, raw fish like it's nothing. I'd like to welcome uh, the several new subscribers I've picked up in the last uh, few weeks. I've uh, picked up about 2,000 new subscribers and uh, I want to welcome you all to the channel. I'm not quite sure what happened. Uh, YouTube must be advertising some of my videos or something but all of a sudden uh, 
I picked up a whole bunch of new people. I'm not complaining. Again, welcome to the channel. It's mostly a vlog of uh, my wilderness hikes with my dogs. And uh, also has a lot of feeding videos on it uh, regarding the uh, barf diet and raw feeding. And uh, various other th animal related things here and there. I'm a former animal warden. I was an animal warden for 13 years and a veteran. Used to be a uh, infantry paratrooper for the 82nd Airborne. Just a little background information for some of you new people to the channel. away on the head there. As I discussed in my other videos, when feeding my dogs raw and feeding them anything, kibble too, I like to handle them, touch them, pet them, put my hand by their mouth, wave it in front of the food, stuff like that. It gets them accustomed to uh, you being there and uh, helps prevent food aggression. Again, I recommend you doing that with any puppy no matter what they're eating. No, every once in a while we'll get comments from people saying, oh, your dog's going to attack you now that you're feeding it raw, or you're going to make it bloodthirsty. That's ridiculous. I've been feeding this way for 20 years. I've never had it made any of my dogs aggressive towards me or anybody else. Gibble's been around less than 100 years before that. This is how everybody fed their dogs. You didn't have an epidemic of people's dogs becoming bloodthirsty and attacking them because this is how they were fed. Again, use some common sense. You can see because of the design of her jaw, even though Ulu and uh, Ogren are the same age, she's able to eat through that fish. Uh, quite a bit faster than he is. All she has is the head left. She was able to eat him in about half the time. The bulldog jaw isn't made for chewing, it's made for gripping and holding. pretty. I weighed her last night. She's uh, 26.3 pounds at 11 weeks. So she's a good sized girl. It's kind of funny. She, uh, when all the other puppies were here, she was the smallest pup in the litter. Has been that way since she was born. And uh, ever since the other puppies have gone, she's just exploded in size. And she's now one of the largest puppies from the litter. I don't know if that's uh, because of the diet I'm feeding her and uh, some of the other people who've gotten uh, puppies from this litter don't feed them fully raw like I do. So is it the diet or uh, did she just get a slow start and now she's catching up? I don't know. When I look at Kurgan also though, he's uh, quite a bit bigger than most of his litter mates. Again, is that the diet uh, or not? I don't know. It's kind of a 
interesting coincidence though. Nutrition does have a lot to do with uh, you reaching your full genetic potential size wise. You know if you look at uh, suits of armor from the Middle Ages they look tiny and that's because the average height for people back then was you know 5'2", 5'4". And uh, with the uh, advent of uh, modern agriculture and farming practices and stuff we nutritionally eat a lot better diet and therefore are on average quite a bit larger than our counterparts from the Middle Ages. I'm wondering if that applies to uh, the raw diet and feeding kibble as well. Again I've noticed that puppies I've fed the raw diet too end up being larger and more robust and healthy looking than their commercially fed uh, kibble counterparts. Just a little bit of food for thought for some of you. I admit it's just uh, bro science on my part based on my experience, but uh, still pretty interesting all the same. Again, you can see Ogren's got over half his fish left. And Ulu's just uh, finishing up the head. And that's because uh, she is designed by nature to be the ultimate predator, where he was designed by man to be a canine gladiator. Hope you enjoyed that. Stop in and see how uh, Lobo's doing here with, it looks like he's got half a carcass left. Again, that was fully frozen when I gave it to him, which slows him down a bit and makes him have to chew it more. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that uh, little notification bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get uh, email notifications when my new videos come out. Thanks for coming along. I want to uh, welcome again all the new subscribers to my channel and uh, say a big thank you to everybody that's uh, been here for a while supporting it. I appreciate it. One thing I didn't expect uh, when I started uploading on YouTube was uh, all the great people and friends I'd make. It's been a nice experience. Cool. Best wishes everybody. Bye. Bye from Miss Ulu. Bye from Mr. Ogren. And bye from Lobo. And if you're wondering where uh, Kurgan is, uh, he's in the house in a large crate eating his food. Again, I separate them all so uh, they're not competing with each other for food and can take their time. Bye.